Hey everyone, welcome back to The Rocketeer. I'd like to introduce you to my new scratch-built model that I call Zebulon Pike. Zebulon Pike was an early American explorer that was the first to climb what is now called Pike's Peak. I thought that was pretty cool. Climb a mountain, then have it named after you. I want to do a ground test on this rocket, and I'm going to fly it on two different types of motors, which we'll talk about in just a minute. So let's grab those motors, do that ground test, and then send it up and see how it flies. I'd like to talk about these two different motors. One's a 54 and one's a 38. Assuming that they had the same amount of Newton seconds, why would I choose this motor over this one? And for what reason? What is the advantage of using the larger motor over the longer motor? And which one will produce the most thrust? Which one will give me the highest altitude? And which one will give me the highest speed? Leave a comment in the comment section. Now this longer motor is what I would call a high risk, high reward motor. It is not as forgiving as a motor like this. These long motors are a little more difficult to plan for. They tend to have a uh, higher incidence of Cato. So you just have to really be careful in your casting and in your calculations and your simulations to make sure it survives. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. 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 Come on. Fire. 